Uh, greetings, beloved human family. I am Gilles Mancillon, and I thought I'd come to you very briefly today to wish you a wonderful Merry Christmas or holiday season. If you, if you are celebrating this holiday, usually it's um, depending on tradition. It's the time where we gather together, family, family, and. and and so we we celebrate uh, those those time of uh, of uh, rest and relaxation and uh, but if you I thought I talk about entertainment for for the and I just uh, I have a, a lot a lot of movies here um, that I um, that I watched and and so but I pulled out a few movies that are connected in some ways to the spiritual to spiritual understanding and ideas I've already discussed the Truman Show as. We are all the people in our life are just actors that reflect to us the lesson and, and give us the fulfillment that we need for we need each other to reflect each other. Um, another movie that is uh, that I thought was very uh, important is um, is this movie in terms of spiritual understanding. It is called Avatar. Most people have seen it, but it is it is truly essential that we understand that in ecology we, we have to preserve our planet. We have to reconnect to nature. We, nature is not something that needs to be subdued into submission. It is something that we need to integrate in. And those people on on this planet have, have a deep connection to their planet, their spiritual, all the the, the invisible world are even so they're so connected to it that they they are visible but all those spirits that they have on these planets are also present on the earth it is just because we have separated ourselves from all these magic kingdoms that we are unable to to perceive that and so this movie was great awakener i hope that it was, it was given at a certain time so mankind could understand the the, the difference between uh, abuse um, and, and ecology because the, the the humans in this movie are not portrayed in the highest light and so, uh, so it is not about judgment. It is about restoring the ecology. At some point, we're going to have to uh, to become aware that um, everything is alive, and we have to respect nature. So this movie Avatar was very, uh, very potent uh, revelator in that sense. Another movie that is uh, quite interesting is uh, Lucy, the story of a girl that uh, that uh, come in contact with some bizarre chemical and. Uh, and then all of a sudden our DNA just starting to uh, open up to, to up to 100% and our brain power develops so she's becoming develop um, external uh, manifestation psychic powers this is very interesting because this is what is going on the key is that to understand in relation to that movie is that it is a Hollywood style so so it, it is in the frame of uh, violence mafia guns and so on but you cannot activate your full potential as long as you have violent thoughts where you feel like you're separated from anyone or anything. It is through um, slowing down, being kind, uh, being open, being uh, all those things will, will greatly favor the reconnecting of our brain. Because the, the point is that we, we have whole brain, but we're not using it. Um, to its fullest capacity. Why? Because we, we didn't need it, maybe, but now we need to reconnect our brain. We, we need to, to harmonize the logical and, and the intuitive mind in order to so that they vibrate in full potential and then the third, uh, the third brain, the cerebellum, uh, activate and that give us all kinds of new connection to, to the whole world of energy. And as the third eye in the center of the brain also open up, it creates uh, the opening of a stargate. Um, stargate is, I, I pulled out that movie, I, di I didn't really care for the movie that much, but there was this movie named Stargate. And it was a series also afterwards, I believe. Um, but in essence, the, the, the movie was, uh, was, I didn't really like the story, but it still talks about the, the real uh, understanding that there are those physical objects on the earth, they've been deactivated, uh, but um, they, used to, they used to be used at the time of Atlantis, and, and, and many extraterrestrials have also uh, brought some stargates with them. Um, and so it, it is uh, the understanding that we have a stargate in the center of our brain once our third eye is open, but we will come to discover those, those ancient technologies uh, that dates back from, uh, from the old days before what we know as civilization. Um, and also a very, very essential movie that is... Uh, what have I done with it? What did I do with it? Essential movie. Uh, uh, in, in terms of understanding the, 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 the spiritual program is that the understanding is that everything is new, everything is always new, every day is fresh. Uh, 
uh, and, and in a sense things are moving a lot faster than what we can perceive but uh, the program remains the same it means we, whatever lessons we are learning that when we we fell asleep the next day we still are back to our life with the same program until we master that lesson we until we we, we overcome something and so th this day is called uh, the greyhound day this is a french uh, version but uh, it, i'm sure you, you might have seen it it's someone who wakes up every day on january 2nd and is being asked to, to relive the same day over and over and over and over again. So he does all those things that, all the different things he could do with the day until after hundreds and hundreds of days, he finally utilized this one day with all, he utilized all the possibility for uh, for uh, uh, for uh, enjoyment, for, for uh, service to, into that day. And at that point, he can move on to the next level. So that is a very important understanding that once we have mastered our lesson, we can move on to the next level. Another uh, uh, important, uh, there was a, I pulled out a few movies, but um, there is a, there is a lot a lot of it, a lot of truths have been revealed uh, uh, in Hollywood. The problem is that often the truth is mixed up with uh, violence, um, so so because that's what sells. Um, Another movie that has uh, a deep truth in it is this movie called The Abyss. It may be a bit long, but but it's um, it's a movie that talks about uh, extraterrestrial civilization that live on the bottom of the ocean. For there are civil more advanced civilizations that live on the bottom of the ocean, and we will come to discover them at some future time. Uh, another movie, of course, that is a cult movie is the Close Encounter of the Third Kind. For that is uh, that is really what's preparing um, for mankind. For the, the, there has been many uh, encounters be between groups of individuals and governments and extraterrestrials, but there will come a time where all of humanity will be um, allowed, uh, will be uh, open, will be ready to to make that first contact. It is more like a family reunion than, than anything else. Um, then uh, on the same vein, there is this movie called you know, Cocoon. I thought that was a pretty good movie uh, that speaks of extraterrestrial that came millions of years ago to, to, to the Earth, but they couldn't retrieve all their people, so they're, they're coming back to, to retrieve them. And, and uh, they, they, they have achieved an eternal state of being, and so they are able to... to, um, to, to uh, to even bring some of the humans with them uh, at, at the end of the journey, but um, so it, it just shows that, uh, that there are uh, all kinds of beings that have developed all kinds of uh, powers. So in, in the same vein, there is this movie named Contact uh, that is also uh, it's, a, it's based on um, on a book by Carl Sagan. It's a wonderful story, um, and so I hope if you haven't seen it, you might find it interesting. Uh, another movie that talks about the astral plane, the after death, uh, the, the meander of the mind and the belief system is called uh, What Dreams May Come. It's with Robin Williams. I so thought it was quite an interesting movie. It may, it may not be a comedy, but it's a, it's a good movie. And uh, on the um, more like quantum parallel reality uh, kind of ideas. There was uh, I pulled out those two movies. One is called Family Man, the story of a very powerful businessman who's single, but at some point he made the choice of business and, and power. And but then he meets an angel that kind of give him a glimpse of what his life would have been if he would have uh, married the girl of his of his, the love of his life. And so he and and then from the glimpse he realizes that there is far more joy and happiness in sharing a simple life with with a family than all the success in the world cannot come close to that. Uh, and in a, a bit different, but in the same vein, you have this movie called Sliding Door, which is a, it's a girl that has a, that has a chance to experience uh, two choices in her life, and see that one choices will lead one way, one choices will lead another way. I won't make this video too long. I just pulled a few movies for the art. I have, I have hundreds and hundreds of movies that could be interesting to discuss in relationship to spiritual ascension, but those are just some of them. Uh, this this one is called In the Head of John Malkovich. I don't know if you've seen it. It's quite a, it's quite entertaining. It uh, talks about all kinds of. It, it's it's a very it's a bit surreal, but I thought uh, it it still has um, value in understanding that uh, things may not be as fixed as we believe them to be. And uh, finally, I wanted to, to say that um, if you make abstraction of all the violence in it, uh, those movies are they're full of revelation. It's called The Matrix. 
There is a lot of, uh, of violence, for that's what sells in Hollywood, but there is all kinds of keys and codes in order to understand that we need to disconnect from that dark shadow matrix that is, um, because otherwise, if we, if we keep our emotion, um, neg if we keep cultivating negative emotions, there, is, there are invisible beings that are sucking at it, that, that always um, are, are feeding from that negative energy and keep us, tra keep us um, entrapped inside the dark matrix. Of course, in the truth, when we liberate ourselves from a matrix, we, we discover a universe of light, which in the same way, there, there's all kinds of things in this movie uh, that Neo discovers as the anomaly, is, he moves into the light, but um, so, so there's all kinds of keys and codes that were revealed in all three of them. So I thought uh, I thought I would uh, talk about this very briefly. Of course, uh, there are many many others that's quite of interest uh, as well. Um, but I, I just wanted to, if you have if, if you have time and you feel like um, like watching uh, uh, movies, I thought I'd talk about this today. And uh, I wanted to come by, so wish you a wonderful uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. Namaste.